about scrambling cookies, we have a really great announcement. Zooks was declared as the model of the month. Model of the month, December. I was already published in many magazines. I was published here. I was published here. I was published here. It's my favorite farm from Tokyo. I was published in many magazines, but this time it's different because this is the online fashion magazine. And they did a whole interview with myself declaring me the model of the month because it's in Serbian, I will, I will translate it for yourself and let's see what it looks like BOOM! Model Insider You're used to watch them on the runways, on the fashion tutorials, blah 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 now you're gonna introduce them and now you're gonna know all about them outside of this set today we're gonna speaking with Milos, that myself he is one of the rare ginger models in Serbia. He's a preschool teacher, he's a business coach and a YouTuber. What? So yeah, the first question was how did you end up doing modeling? So I, I said exactly 10 years ago, a scout approached me and said like, hey kid, wanna be a model? I was like, what? But after after a couple of shows, after after actually when I watched the first show and the first runway and the first casting, I knew that's it. I wanna do that. Check some awesome pictures. Aside of the modeling, what are your other passions? What do you do in your spare time? I said, well, I'm a business coach. I'm coaching startups. I'm coaching young entrepreneurs on their path to success. Currently, my biggest passion is YouTube. Am I right? Am I right? Is YouTube and I want to do I want to do as much as possible about video production because I really love editing I really love learning about editing and what else I said I'm vlogging and I love editing as I said blah 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 what's your favorite book your movie music video game that would you like to recommend I said my favorite movie is paranormal activity because I'm a huge fan of horror movies my my favorite book is Four Hour Work Week by Tim Ferriss. Like the guy taught me how to delegate. The guy taught me how to be a coach. The guy taught me how to work less and earn more. Thank you for that book. And currently my playlist is between the Serbian hip hop and the Dutch band Yellow Claw. As for the video games, I don't play them. I don't play them even on my phone. So sorry about that. Next question: What is your favorite place in the world where you wanna? go and chill when you have a tough day and stuff like that I said there's like a little tiny spot in Belgrade like a little short street nobody goes there like five people a day cross that street and there's like a little fake river thingy happening so I like to take my shoes off put my feet in the river just chill there everybody thinks I'm a foreigner they're like ah oh, let him do this his thing he's a foreigner blah 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 so that's my favorite thing they asked me what's my destination of my dream. I said it's Koh Phangan in Thailand because that's that's actually the very the very island where I started thinking about coaching, where I lived for some time and I had really great time. So I said forever it's gonna be my destination for my dreams. They said what's your favorite collaboration, your favorite shooting, stuff like that. I said my favorite collaboration was with a brand Scotch and Soda in Holland. Cause they were like, my god, you're so ginger, you're so scotch and soda, we love you, you're like the, you're perfect for this brand. I'm like, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. And my favorite shooting ever was uh, Christmas shooting for Bulberry a couple of years back, with like trench coats, snow, kids, Christmas presents and everything. So yeah, that's like the perfect shooting ever. Next question, how would you describe your styling? I said smart business baby, smart business. I'm into shirts, I'm into suits, I'm into costumes, I'm into ties, I'm into like super fancy shoes. So yeah, that, that's what I do, I'm really into ties, I bought five ties in a day. I'm really thinking about bow ties, but I'm more, in, more a tie person at this moment. Is there jealousy in a fashion world and how you cope with that? I said there's always jealousy and it's always gonna be because it's like really tough being a model because there's a lot of competition a lot of people would like to kick you off the road just to be on your place so I said it's gonna be there but focus on yourself mentally focus on your own path just go there do your thing be the best you can no one can do anything about it next question is how are you gonna build a self-esteem 
Is it like something in a moment? Is there something unpleasant in your career that occurred? And as for the self-esteem, I said, you just have to focus on yourself. Like you have to be yourself. You have to like not care about anything else and, and think out of all the people on the casting, I'm the only one who was selected for this job. Let's kick this thing. And yeah, I was I was shooting a Spanish underwear brand. So I was I was literally naked only in, in like little slips, like little underwear. And I was in the middle of the farmer's market in Barcelona. So yeah, they're like ladies selling tomatoes and a guy selling bananas. And I'm like, you got the underwear, like posing and stuff. Yeah, it's like really embarrassing. But I, I did my thing. I was thinking about out of everybody on that casting, I was the only one who was selected. So it's me, bro. I'm the best one out there. And last one, how how you, how you taking care of yourself? Are you are you working out and how do you care about your looks and stuff like that? And I said every morning I go to gym and to spa like I was flooding the first season of my vlog with the clips from a gym so I decided not to do it anymore. I'm working out, I'm swimming, I'm sitting in sauna. My my, I love sauna. I mean, it makes my skin so smooth, so smooth, so smooth. I know it's really bad to spend that much time in sauna, but when you're ginger like me, you wanna spend as much time in sauna as possible because it's gonna make you silky, silky smooth. And what else was there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having my beer for more than four years and once a week I go to barbershop as well, flooding my vlogs with sh shoots from the barber shop. I'm going to the barber shop once a week to trim my beard, get my hair on point, be like sleek and everything. And everywhere I go, I bring a sun factor and like sun locker with myself. Cause even though it's winter, there's some shine, there's some sun shining on the side. And trust me, I easily get burned even in even in the winter. This year, 2017, my first. Red skin occurred on the 15th of March. 15th of March! Nobody gets burned between March and July, but I did. I did. So yeah, guys, this is like the really, really, really awesome, awesome interview with myself. I'm really proud of this and I'm really happy I can introduce you with, with the English version of it. I just paraphrased everything I said because you know what, I'm not into translating now, I just wanted to kind of say how happy I am because I was published there and yeah guys, feel free to share it even though you don't understand it, let's more, let, let more people know about this ginger guy. So guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video because I really gave my best to kind of introduce the whole thing from Serbian to English speaking crowd and guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog. Bye. Because it's in Serbian, I'll 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 describe the translate. I will translate it. Let's go from the top.